guys, it's Claris. Today I have a couple of Born Pretty's new Concat nail kits to try out. I will do my best to give an honest review of what I think of these products. So yep, yeah, let's get right into the video. So I have here the gel polish kit as well as the nail stamping kit. Unfortunately, the boxes did get a little bit damaged in shipping, but I hope that should be all right. I think the theme of the cats is really cute and fun. So this is the stamping kit. It comes with four different plates. And then if I lift this up here, this is the scraper. And here is the stamper. This does feel pretty sticky actually. So here I'm just opening up all the individual plates. So let's take a closer look at what we got. So in the first stamping plate, L001, we have a really good variety of all different kinds of patterns you can use in nail art designs. There's also the really cute little cats up here. In plate number two, we have a bit more complex designs with a lot of hearts and cats, which is really cute. In plate three here, we're getting into patterns over here, as well as these larger images of the cat head. And the last plate is a bit more space themed. We have a bunch of moons and stars. So looking at the scraper, it does seem to be pretty flexible. My other scraper I have is a bit more stiff than this one. And then the stamper is not a clear stamper, and I do notice that it feels pretty sticky. I did hear some other people were having some trouble with getting it to pick up images. Alright, so let's open up the gel polish kit. Alrighty. Hmm, they aren't labeled on the bottom. Anyways, this is their red here. It looks like a really kind of almost Christmassy almost. And this is a white. And this is kind of like a pumpkin spice mustard yellow. And then we have a really vivid forest green. Again, this is also kind of giving me Christmas vibes. So it comes with the label stickers that I believe you're supposed to put onto the bottle. And then we also have this sheet of smaller stickers that you can use for nail art. I think I might have forgotten to mention, but I did win these kits from their Instagram likes giveaway. That was a few months back, so it did take some time in shipping, but they're all finally here. And I'm going to prep my nails and we're going to do a mani with all this cool stuff. Okay, I'm trying to peel off these stickers, but they keep tearing, unfortunately. Let's see if I can have better success with this one. There we go. And since this is a white cat, I'm going to attach it onto the bottle that has the white gel polish. And I'm going to put the yellow cat on the mustard yellow nail polish. Okay, now let's start that mani. Okay, so I'm going to peel off my um, old nails. And these were from a um, Polish of the Week episode on my channel. I'm just going to shorten the length down a little bit. Alright, so once I have cleaned and shaped the nails, I'm going to grab my Make It Peelable base coat. And this base coat is specifically designed to remove gel polish. And I did do a review a while back on this one. But anyways, I'm just going to apply this to all the nails. And this will air dry. You do not need to cure in a lamp. Alright, so when the base coat has dried, I'm just going to pull out my gel polishes. And I'm going to do some nail art with the different things I got. So I hope you'll enjoy watching what I create. And yeah, let's get right into it.
All right, so now let's try out the stamping plates. I do want to try this one down here. This says Cuncat. I usually do have some success using regular nail polish for stamping, so I'm going to try using that first. So I'm going to first try without doing anything to the stamper, just out of the box idea. Okay, so I'm applying the polish to the plate, scraping across, I'm going to roll over. Ooh, I think it did pick up. Okay, it, it picked up some. I've, I had worked a little bit faster, maybe I'd gotten it all, but I actually picked it up. I'm pretty surprised because I did hear some people were having problems with that. I'm going to try that one more time with these cute polka dots. Pick it up and press. Okay, so I did work very quickly and as you can see, it transferred basically all of it. So good. All right, so now that I found that it actually worked, I'm now going to stamp on my actual nail. So that actually worked pretty well. And one note though is it would be nice if they had put in a clear stamper because some of these images require some lining up. All right, so for the pointer nail, which is yellow, I'm going to try using this little image here using black nail polish. Oops, now that's kind of squiggly. That looks kind of cute still. For the green nail, I'm going to stamp on this little cat on the moon. That's really cute. And I'm using white nail polish. There we go. I think it needs something more though. Ooh, that's perfect. Now on the white nail, we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to take the mustard yellow polish and carefully draw on a section of that in the middle of the nail. And then I'm just going to cure that in my lamp. Then I'm going to grab that sheet of stickers that came with the gel polish. And I'm just going to grab one of those little pairs of eyes and just put it right in that orange color block I had there. And for the pinky, I'm just going to grab this little adorable ice cream spilling sticker and just apply that right to the pinky nail. Alrighty, so I decorated all the nails. Now I'm just going to grab my Born Pretty No Wipe top coat and just apply that to all the nails. And I just noticed that the stamper made a really cute finger rest. Anyways, here is the Mix Match Manny I created using the Born Pretty Cuncat gel polish and stamping kit set. I was pleasantly surprised that the stamper worked pretty much for me right out of the box, even with regular nail polish. I do like Born Pretty stamping plates, their quality is very good, and I enjoyed using all the gel polishes. So overall, I would recommend these kits. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my review. If it was helpful or you learned anything, or you have any comments you want to share, feel free to pop them below. I do though now have a pretty big collection of dip powders, and I do enjoy doing those. I'm thinking of trying something with this dark red as well as this gold, so if you'd like to see what Manny I come up with next, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel and have the bell on so you won't miss that next video. If you guys want to see more videos and reviews I did with Born Pretty, then I will have those linked below in my description. Remember that a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. So, hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching. I hope you enjoyed and that this was helpful and have a magical day.